So I went looking for the Fairy Queen, you know, so she could kidnap Kokorin so we don't have to deal with them anymore. And, yeah, she's still a corpse. So we're gonna have to keep Kokorin around with us as we choose a new friend. It's between Demon Reader and the Biofrost. It was really close for a while, and then the Biofrost went out. What was more interesting, besides the surge of boat voting that I got that I was very happy with, is everybody seemed to have wanted Icefire Mountain, or at least a vast majority of you. Probably due to my claim that uh, a secret house area is somewhere in this area, I was in error. I mean, we do cross it when we go from Fairy Forest to Trump Castle, or Fairy Forest to Icefire Mountain, but in fact it doesn't involve the Fairy Forest at all. And that, that route that I was mentioning is actually from Star Hill to Milk Sea. I do have uh, a recompense for you. Since we're going to Icefire Mountain, we could go on rails and not pick any more areas. And Icefire Mountain to Star Hill has an interesting direction. And Star Hill to Milk Sea has some interesting areas in it too. So we're in for quite an adventure until the end of the game. Let's just take Biofrost where he needs to go. I'll make up for it in time. By destroying turtles. One benefit the Umbrella Power is I could destroy them without needing to jump, as long as I'm far enough away. And also, we kind of close to level 4, I think. Oh hey! Extra life! You know what, I'll trade up extra lives to, uh... I'll trade up Umbrellas to have extra lives. Why the heck not? To end of this game, pretty darn hard. We're going to want all of these smiley faces. They will keep us happy. And this will keep us happy in the interim. It's Double Shot, level 4 Umbrella. Really ridiculously useful. Especially when you want to hit something flying. Especially if you want to keep the flying things away from you as you hit them. But sadly, it does not do double damage until it splits. And then you just have to be really careful to hit an enemy right after it splits. So it's kind of a skill weapon, which is probably why people don't like it. There's a lot of skillful things in games that people don't like because they lack the skill to do them. So, I'm gonna farm more Umbrella. That's pretty awesome. See the power of double Umbrella! I could just fill the sky with Umbrellas. I will blot out the sun with my Umbrellas. Oh my goodness! The Biofrost brought his luck with him from the last stage. The last stage that he was, uh, present in... What was that? Milk Sea? Yeah, he fought the pirates, didn't he? Imagine fighting the pirate ship with triple shot. Ridiculous! It's triple uh, the umbrellas! Three for the price of one! It's like a bargain bin basement edition kind of thing. I don't know what I was saying. My brain suddenly farted. I don't know where I was trying to go with that. I was flabbergasted by the amount of umbrella that Biofrost should shoot out. That is two shots plus three, or no, two shots times three. That's six umbrellas, not counting the other sprites on the screen. How is the NES not lagging out? I'll tell you why, because um, they destroy everything in their path. That's probably why. Pretty good reason. I'm gonna kill him, on principle. I don't even need to break open the eggs anymore, I have maximum power. The only thing good that could come from an egg is a big heart when I'm hurt, or a 1-up. Which, I could actually use a few more of those. I mean, we got a couple in the beginning. Looks like nobody wants to cough up 1-ups, and they're quite rare. But at least breaking eggs occupies my time. And this is a rather short stage. So we got that going for us. That wasn't Princess Rua, that was a suicide skunk. If Princess Rua got summoned from that egg anyway, she would have fell to the abyss. And then she would be dead. Game over. These penguins are new. They like to jump into the parfait, but they like to do something more than that. They like to explode into mini penguins. This is a great way to get power-ups if you don't have them already. Deal with explosion penguin. All you have to do is run underneath them and he'll turn into an, a whole bunch of penguins. Mini penguins. Baby penguins. But I don't really need these powers, though. I mean, we could destroy him without needing to deal with baby penguins. After time, he will explode on his own, which is why I killed him too slow there. 
This area actually looks familiar. Kind of looks like our path from, um... Yeah, Icefire Mountain to Milk Sea. This looks very similar. Even though we came from a completely different direction. Maybe the east face and the west face are both like a mirror image of each other. I do remember this tunnel being on the other side of the screen the last time. So I think that's what it is. I think they were that lazy. That they just mirror imaged their last area. Put the tunnels, the upward tunnels, in a different location. I know this for a fact is a carbon copy. I remember getting jumped by the wall facing Penguin right here. I distinctly remember that, and I remember destroying him with my Umbrella Might. Speaking of Umbrella Might, I'm gonna kill that guy before he explodes into Penguins. Mission failed. Mission failed. Back to the drawing board. The Biofrost couldn't do it. Bring in the Bioflame. He's a better version anyway. At least he ain't made out of bargain bin basement parts. Ridiculous. Santa, this Christmas, I want a new robot. Try and keep the Umbrella Shooter, though. The Umbrella Shooter is pretty cool. Sadly, Santa does not have any clues about Princess Rua, so we're stuck with Kokorin. Get it over with. Thank you. Thank you for epilepsy. If I don't feel like having seizures on the floor, I'm not playing Kokorin. I mean Kokorone. He's in my brain now! Get him away! Shoo! I need some Kokorin away! Someone invent some spray that keeps Kokorin away from me. I need a restraining order. Now we only have three more friends that could take a second trip. We got the Demon Reader, we got Enkila Kasha, and Neo Super Spyro. I would really, really like if you guys would vote for either Neo Super Spyro or Enkila Kasha. I'll keep Demon Reader on the, the poll as a courtesy, but these two guys need power. And Kila Kasha doesn't even have level 3 notes yet, and Neo Super Spyro got like level 2 ball right before his boss, and hasn't been out since. These guys need some practice in their trades. So try and focus your votes here, these two guys. Orange and blue. And we don't have a selection on areas. We're on rails now. The next area we're going to is the Star Hill. Maybe that'll influence your vote a little bit. Good night, folks.